Hey Alihopa! Where are we today, Jonas? Uh, we are in Hartford and we are in, uh, in Mark Twain's uh, property. Yes, historic Mark Twain house! And it's the Connecticut Open House Day where museums have like discounted admission and little extra things like this concert, I guess. And we're kind of in character today. Like yeah. Tom Sawyer, right? It's actually Tom Sawyer Day here, I read too. Oh, no, really? Don't really know what no that way. means. Yeah. <laughs> huh. So we're gonna go have a good old fashioned time. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Clemens there? <laughs> Good sir. Is he not home? He's not home. Aww. I was uh, gonna knock and see if he could sign my copy of my book. <laughs> oh, that would be great, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Aww. <laughs> so Jonas, how was your time at the Mark Twain house today? It was most spectacular and just amazing to be in a home of a American classic author and I was thinking to myself what if his ideas still is hovering in the rooms that I, I that. breathe in you know when you said that I got chills because we were standing like in his office where he wrote Tom Sawyer and yeah. Huckleberry Finn and it was just really mind-blowing yeah um, and he lived here 17 years yeah. And it was the most long, longest time he, he had ever lived, lived anywhere. anywhere. And he uh, traveled a lot. Yeah, he traveled a lot. And uh, it's a lot of homes where they claim that he lived. But And yes, they might be true uh, because he lived everywhere because of his travels. Mm -hmm. But this is his home for 17 yes. years. And he had him and his uh, wife and three daughters lived here. And we couldn't take any photos or videos inside, unfortunately. So. Maybe we can insert some that we found online here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because or, it was so gorgeous inside. Well, why don't you come here? It, we'll it's worth a trip. And also, right across from here is the Harriet Beecher Stowe house, and she wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin. So I think it's very interesting that two authors, you know, living in the same like mm. little area, who wrote about, um, you know, wrote against slavery. Yeah. And it's just really inspiring. And how long ago was it when we first came here? It was during the year of our uh, time doing work away where we were kind of like homeless slash traveling, volunteering places. And we ended up in Connecticut. And that was in 2016? Yeah, so like a little bit less than three years. Yeah. And ever since then, we didn't actually get to take the tour that time because it was really expensive and we didn't have a lot of money. We were ended up in the Hartford area. And now here we are, like, you know, come so far. Thank you. Oh. You're coming so why far. Why do you thank me? Like, for staying with me it's a team, <laughs> this time. Team effort. Because it was uh, we've gone through some crazy time. And yeah. we've really come far. Yeah. And now people think that we're time travelers. Yeah, there was this <laughs> man, older gentleman who um, Asked if he worked here because, mm -hmm. and you know, who who dressed up like this? I'm like, I'm just trying to be Becky Thatcher today. Yeah, yeah. We said we were time travelers, and well, because he kept like asking over and over, and I was like, what do you want? I was like, I'm not sure what you want me to say, and then he kept, said something else, and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna play along. We're time travelers, <laughs> and he was kind of like, and they started talking about UFOs and like, conspiracy theories, and I was like, mm -hmm. okay, maybe that was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> I'm so glad we could finally come here on the Connecticut Open House Day and I uh, thought we would close this out by Jonas reading some of Tom Sawyer that Mark Twain wrote right up in there. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Okay, so you're gonna read the, the preface for us, yeah? Yeah. 
most of the adventures recorded in this book really occurred. One or two were experiences of my own, the rest those of boys who were schoolmates of mine. Huck Finn is drawn from life, Tom Sawyer also, but not from an individual. He is a combination of the characteristics of three boys know whom I knew, and therefore belongs to the com composite order of architecture. The odd superstitious touched upon were all prevalent among children and slaves in the West at the period of this story, that is to say, 30 or 40 years ago. Although my book is intended mainly for the entertainment of boys and girls, mm -hmm. I hope it will not be shunned by men and women on that account, for part of my plan has been to try to pleasantly remind adults of what they once were themselves and of how they felt and thought and talked and what queer enterprises they sometimes engaged in. The, the author, Hartford, 1876. Oh, I'm done. That was amazing. I got chills, Jonathan. <laughs> that he wrote that here in Hartford, yeah. 1876. And here we are reading his very works. That's all else we can say. Yeah. Except we have one thing to say. What do we say? And that is, hey do allihopa. Bye for now.